In today's session, we will study about the eating habits of various animals. So children, you all must be knowing that we need food to grow. Food also gives us energy to play. Children, like us, animals also need food. So why do animals need food? They need food for energy. They need food to grow and to remain healthy. Children, now we will study about the feeding habits of animals. Children, you must be knowing different animals have different feeding habits. Some animals eat only plants. So children, you might have seen cow, buffalo, goat, sheep and horses eating grass. And children, you also might have seen the rabbits eat carrots and monkeys love to have nuts and bananas. So children, animals that eat only plants, fruits and vegetables are called plant eating animals. Children, there are some animals who eat the flesh of other animals. For example, a lion, a leopard, a fox, and a tiger. So these animals eat the flesh of other animals. So children, Animals that eat the flesh of other animals are called as flesh-eating animals. Children, some animals eat both plants and flesh of other animals. So which are those animals? For example, Crow and a bear and human beings. So these are some examples of those who eat both plants and flesh of other animals. Children we get food from the plants. For example, rice, meat, fruits, and vegetables. These all food we get from the plants. But food like eggs, and fish come from the animals. So children, always remember that these kind of food are obtained from the plants. And these food come from the animals. Okay children, now we are going to study about how animals eat. Okay children, how an animal eats depends on the kind of food it eats. 
फॉर एग्जाम्पल रैबिट फॉर एग्जाम्पल अट एंड दीज एनिमल्स हैव शार्प फ्रंट टीथ विद विच दे बाइट नट्स fruits and seeds so children these animals gnaw the food so which are the animals gnaw the food they are the rabbit a rat and a squirrel children plant eating animals have flat and broad front teeth to bite off leaves and grass for example the plant eating animals are cow horse goat and the giraffe they have flat and broad front teeth and their strong back teeth help them to chew the food well children there are some animals like cows and the fellows who first swallow their food and then they fill their stomach later they bring it back into their mouth and keep chewing it for hours so what it is called as this is called as chewing the cud for example which are those animals who chew the cud they are the sheep giraffe cow the buffalo and camel these are all such animals which chew the cud so children always remember next time you see a cow relaxing and chewing remember that she is chewing her cud now we will study about some flesh eating animals so children flesh eating animals have very sharp pointed front teeth to tear the flesh and they also have strong jaws and their back teeth are broad and flat so children these animals chew the flesh with their back teeth for example a fox a lion and other examples are a tiger and a dog such animals have very strong jaws children snakes do not have the chewing teeth they do not chew their food so what do they do they swallow their food whole so children snakes swallows a frog children insects have a long thin tube they suck the food into their mouth with the help of 
of this long thin tube. For example, honeybees, butterflies, and mosquitoes like ants have a long thin tube. So they suck their food. Children, a frog has a long sticky tongue for catching its prey. So children, do you remember? We studied about this. What is prey? It is an animal which is killed by another animal for food. So children, here who is the prey? The insect is the prey because frog with its long sticky tongue catches the insect. That means it catches its prey. Then it rolls back the tongue into its mouth and eats the insect. Children, you must be knowing this animal. Yes, children, this is an elephant. You can see children here in this picture. An elephant has a long thick trunk. So, this long thick trunk helps it to break off the branches and leaves and push them into its mouth. This trunk is also used for drinking. How it is used for drinking? The elephant sucks water up into the trunk. Then it curls the trunk inward and blows the water into its mouth. This way, the trunk of an elephant helps it to drink the water. Now, we will study about some other animals. For example, a giraffe. A giraffe has a long neck which help it to reach and break off the leaves. So children, see this picture. What it is showing that a giraffe has a long neck. Children, there are some other animals like dog, and cat, they use their tongue to lap up the water or milk. So children, such animals lap up their food. Children, now we will study about the famous food chain. It's a very important chain formed by the plants and animals. So children, here you can see some pictures. Now we will study about these animals. Children, this is a grasshopper. A grasshopper eats a grass. Then, who is the grasshopper? A frog. This is a frog. A frog that eats the grasshopper. Then who eats the frog? 
a snake a snake eats the frog and then who eats the snake an eagle an eagle eats the snake so children you can see the continuous chain is forming a glass of water eats the glass frog eats the glass of water snake eats the frog and an eagle eats the snake so this kind of the continuous chain is formed by plants and animals so children we can see that a plant is always at the beginning of the food chain thus all these animals depend on plants so this is called the food chain and this food chain goes on continuously okay children now we will study about some pets and the domestic animals children we keep animals like cats and dogs and rabbits as pets so do you agree children these are some pets and pets are just like our friends you can see in this picture and you agree that pets are like our friends and also in this picture you can see a parrot we can also keep parrots in our home so children we should take good care of them and we should feed them properly and keep them safe and healthy so children we should take care of the pet animals because they are like our friends children domestic animals like donkey horse elephant camel help us in many ways so children how do they help us they carry heavy loads for us and they are also helpful in transporting and even they are helpful to take human beings from one place to the another place children there are some domestic animals like cows buffalo and goats which give us milk so these animals provide us with milk which you drink daily and sheep is an animal which gives us wool we also get eggs from hen and duck so we should look after these animals and we should provide them with good food and clean shelter so children such domestic animals should be given good food and clean shelter so always remember children that we should take care of these animals so children i hope you enjoyed this session about learning the eating habits of various animals